Burlington City came into Saturday's West Jersey Football League play with a chance to get above 500 against an opponent still searching for its first win of the season, but the Blue Devils couldn't overcome their own mistakes in the process. City got deep into Pennsville territory late in the second quarter, but started struggling at that point with ball security. An interception by Sean McDade kept City out of the end zone. A second one, a few minutes later by Alec Martz, set up Ray Knappenberger's 20-yard touchdown pass to McDade in the last minute of the first half. Knappenberger added a 56-yard touchdown pass to Zach Manarowitz in the third quarter. The safety came down on the hitch, so then we had the post wide open, and he came down. Whenever we ran a double move, they would bite and fall for it. Another double move freed Brady Locke for a touchdown that gave the Eagles a 21-0 lead. City responded with its best drive of the day as Thomas Roach completed three straight passes, including a 28-yard touchdown to DJ Woodbury, and got a chance to make it a one-score game after Pennsville fumbled on the next play. But a sack by the Eagles' Zach Morrison forced a fumble that got his team the ball back, and the Eagles spent all but eight seconds of the time remaining on a march to the clinching field goal. Pennsville finally earned its first win of the season, 24-8. City fell to two and three and has Florence and Holy Cross coming up in its next two games. First thing we do is watch the film. That's the first thing we do and uh, we'll go from there. We make adjustments as we need to going from there. Um, we got we to gotta stop them on defense. <laughs> we got to score points on offense. I mean, other than that, I mean, you know, it's pretty basic. <laughs> it's pretty basic. It's pretty elementary. From Raymond Costello Field in Burlington, this is John Lewis.